Hello everybody, I'm Amal Central and welcome back to OMSI 2. This time, again, doing something a little bit different. We are back with the Levante. It was requested that much, so I thought I would return with the vehicle in this absolutely stunning repaint that I have been wanting to drive on the channel for quite a while now. This repaint reflects the brand new East Yorkshire Motor Services East Rider brand. It is a repaint pack created by Danny Deary. I will link it in the description below. It is something I highly, highly recommend for the Levantes. It suits it down to the ground. And it's realistic as well, as these buses are running around, or these coaches as I say, are running around in the real world. So it is part of the new brand launches by Go Ahead Group, who now own East Yorkshire Motor Services, and the East Rider brands is something we will discuss in this video. So before we start up the vehicle, we are driving Levante B9R YY63 OEM, that's in the real life fleet is East Yorkshire Motor Services number 81. So I have photographed this bus in the real world, so it is quite nice to drive it in the virtual world as well. So shall we begin? Oh yes, I've got to do the thing and I was pressing the button to start up the engine. I was like, why is nothing happening? There we go. So we're taking a spin on the X5 route today, as you will be able to see from the destination blind. There we go, the X5 to Gull, um, fast via Bruff, and we are running it from what we are going to refer to as a Loughton bus garage. So yes, so for those of you who are watching this video now going, hang on a sec, isn't that just Farvington Demo that you're on? And you're right, you are right, you've caught me out, this is Farvington Demo. However, um, we're going to do a little bit of ingenious sort of um, imagining, we're, we're going to use the virtual sort of imagining world to pretend that this is a root, sort of semi-fictional X5 variation that runs between um, hull and ghoul. Just want to wait for that blind to go across. Oh my goodness, that was very fast. So I thought when I wanted to drive this coach, I was like, what map best represents this route that it operates? And Farvington Demo came to mind. It's a very it's sort of semi-rural. There's obviously the village and town element of it as well. But it does have the fast roads to hopefully give the Levante a bit of a challenge. Jesus, this like a so that's something I also need to remember, um, that reminded by the people um, shouting and kicking off, is there is a gearbox mod for this vehicle. Unfortunately, it was... Oh my goodness me. Okay, that, that roundabout was a little bit tighter than I thought it was. There we go. We rescued it. So there is a gearbox mod for this. Unfortunately, I did download it, but it didn't want to open the file. So I think there's some file corruption issue I'm going on on the main server as I downloaded it a few times and it did not want to work. There was a bit of a shame as I was looking forward to using it, but hey ho, we should still be okay. So at the moment, the X5 service operates between Hull and Gull, um, predominantly running along the A63 and serving Bruff, Alouton and a number of other villages up to Gull, the service has a PVR of 1 with the current climate. The service used to be numbered the X55 and used to use double deck buses, however following the conversion to the East Rider network and the renumbering to X5, coaches now operate on this route. I believe there are two. Sorry, I believe there are two coaches branded up for it and a spare vehicle. And at the moment, with everything going on, it is just one bus PVR. However, it is hoped that in due course, um, it will return to a two bus and peak vehicle requirement as passenger numbers increase. The East Rider network is very much expanding in the EYMS sort of empire. 
Um, the latest one to be done alongside the X5 was the X7 service that encompasses routes 76 and 77, merging them into the brand new X7 service between Hull and Wivensea. This again uses East Rider branded vehicles using the, I believe they were Evora, Eva City, Eva City um, bodied B5 TL vehicles that were purchased, that were the last double deckers purchased by EYMS prior to selling to Go Ahead Group. So the ones that have been branded up, the Evo set of vehicles that have been branded up at Wivensea for the X7 are ones that were new to that depot in late 2016, early 2017. So have just sort of been revitalised, refurbished inside and repainted. The final route at the moment that have seen East Rider um, network conversion is the York services, the X46 and X47 between York and Hull by Market Wheaton and the 45 and 46 services between York, Pocklington and Bridlington. So these services have seen brand new high specification Enviro 400 MMCs enter service that are the first that is the first routes um, on the East Rider new brand to get brand new vehicles the rest have been repurposed or refurbished the example of this is the vehicle that we are driving is a Levante that was previously in use on the National Express network so they operate those services with these lovely um, new spec MMC buses with bicycle racks free Wi-Fi, USB ports and tables. At some point in the future I am hoping to do a video um, from the real life East Rider network so do look out for that in due course. So I've actually photographed this vehicle in the real world. Um, I ended up um, a couple of weeks back on an essential journey in the area for um, business related stuffs and found the time. Um, it was quite um, convenient to photograph one of these and saw it in person and took a photograph. Oh my goodness me, the turn. I'm really sorry people, but the turning circle on this coach is, isn't the best. I do put it partly down to this turning circle, but partly down to the fact that this coach accelerates that quickly. I don't exactly realise how fast I'm going um, until we start a crashing. There is a slight problem. So the conversion of the X5 to coaches when it was renumbered does sort of pose questions over other sister routes or similar services should I say that operate along this same corridor. The X62 service between Hull and Leeds that ran and um, the peak sort of vehicle requirements on that is two with the most sort of most at the time it was four round four return trips um, during the day on a Saturday the rest. Um, Sundays had two and Monday to Fridays had three. There we go, you're jumping on. But that service Hello. used to use coaches and up until March 2020 began to use the new YW Reg 19 Reg E400 MMCs. Unfortunately, since all of um, all the pandemic malarkey has kicked off, that service has not made a return. It's hoped that in due course, obviously coming on this summer when things do take a turn for the normal again, that that service will return. However, it does pose questions as to EYMS's plans with this service and does also pose the concept of a potential extension along the M62 to Leeds for this that would be quite good. It has been a while since East Yorkshire Motor Services operated a public bus service up to Leeds. They obviously have run a few coach trips through Leeds in the past and as recent as summer 2019 a number of their double-deckers visited Leeds as part of the Mint Festival um, shuttle bus contracts. However it was the late 90s early 2000s that the last public bus service was run by them that was using Optair Prismas 
on the X62 service that before Stagecoach took full um, ownership of it was a shared service. There we go. It was a shared service between Stagecoach Hull and East Yorkshire Motor Services. They even had an EYMS Optair Prisma. On yeah, is it Optair? I feel like, why am I saying Optair? Mercedes, it's a Mercedes Prisma. Silly me, it's because it looks, it looks similar-ish to the XL, my apologies. No, the Mercedes Prisma, apologies about that. Yes, Mercedes 0405 Prisma, that's the one. Um, yes, they had one of their Mercedes Prismas um, repainted up into the Stagecoach Stripes livery at one point for the service. Well, we don't need the indicators on for this. There we go. Do we actually have... Oh, no, we do have some people on the bus. That's good. It's always good, is that? I was worried everybody jumped off at the park and ride. Although, I say that there were people that jumped on there, so... That's probably why they're still on the bus. No, I... No, because that... Fellas that are... There we go. That's the camera I need. Let's actually make sure no one's showing up. I'll let you off here, actually. And go straight onto layover, then. Okay, there isn't a bus stop map there, so no, we will... I'll take you around to the proper stand then. You see, it's quite funny, is this? Is this was the first map we actually took the Levante on. I think this bus has been released for a good five years now. That's quite worrying, is that? Because I remember when it was just newly released. Oh, my goodness me. There we go. I should have taken that a little bit wider than I did. And then what we'll do... ...is we will wander around and have a little park up. There we go. And that is the X5, um, the X5 East Rider service. Our little sort of tribute to the route, tribute to the absolutely superb repaint, and our little talk through the network. Obviously, this video was quite short, so apologies for that. I didn't get as much sort of content in as I was, I was hoping to, as I did have a bit to talk about on the routes. If you do have any sort of questions about what I've mentioned or want any more information about the East Rider services, by all means, let me know in the comments below and I will gladly um, answer any questions that you may have. Do keep sending in your suggestions as well for maps, buses, routes and repaints. I'm going to hopefully do a few, I've got a few exciting stuff planned for the next few days, so do look out for all of that. And do remember as well that from Monday the 29th, so that's basically this Monday coming up, the upload schedule is slightly changing, so do make sure you check out the update video for all details on that. If you have enjoyed this video, do click the like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. And if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. I just like that branding so much. I mean, the font, I won't say the font's perfect, but it is still a superb livery. It really is. Um, and I like the back bit as well. So we got distracted. Um, this is the problem with driving repaints like this. Is it just, this is, this is one I've wanted to drive in for quite a number of weeks now. So this is why it's just a little bit of hype for me. But if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. Do consider subscribing for more content like this, both from the virtual bus simulator world as well as the real life industry. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.